Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send automated WhatsApp message to Fluent CRM contact. So here our objective is that whenever we add new contact in our Fluent CRM account, then we want to send an automated message on WhatsApp to that particular contact. Here we are going to use Vati and here we are going to create an integration between Fluent CRM and Vati. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Fluent CRM. In Action application, I'm going to use Vati. So how I am going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we have Fluent CRM, which is a plugin in my WordPress account and we have Vati, which we are using to send WhatsApp messages to my customers. Now here, what my objective is that whenever I add a new contact in my Fluent CRM, then I want to send a WhatsApp message to that particular user that I have just added in my contact list in Fluent CRM. For this, I have to create an integration between Fluent CRM and Vati. For creating this integration, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. These are the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm gonna click here on access now button and it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now, what we want is we want to create a new workflow. For that, I will click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to send WhatsApp message for Fluent CRM contact. Now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I will select home and I will click on create. And this will take us to the most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. So we will set up our trigger first and our trigger application will be Fluent CRM. So I will search for that. I will click here. And I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this and new entries will be my trigger event. So I will click here. And now I have to connect my Fluent CRM account with Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to use this webhook URL which is going to work as a bridge between my Fluent CRM and Pabli Connect. And for connecting my accounts, I need to follow all this instruction. So first I will copy this URL. I will go back to Fluent CRM. Here I will go to automations. I will click on create new automation. Here I'm going to select this new form submission, Fluent Forms. And I will give an internal label which will be demo and I'm going to click on continue. Now my automation name is demo. Now I have to select my form, which will be fluent CRM contact. So I'm going to select this and I will map all these details here. So in the field of first name, I will open this and I will map this names first name. Similarly, I will map the last name email. And in this map other data section, I will use this select contact property and I'm going to map here mobile number. Here I will map the mobile number and I will click on save settings. Now I will click on this plus button and here I'm going to select this outgoing web book. Here first I will select the data send method, which will be my post method. And in the remote URL, I'm going to paste that URL that we have copied from the public connect. Now request format will be send as JSON format and the request body will be full subscriber data raw and request header will be no header. And I'm going to click on save settings. And I'm going to click here on draft. Now let's go back to public connect. 
Here we can see it is waiting for Webhook response. Now we will go back to Fluent CRM. I will go to my form. We are going to use this Fluent CRM contact. So I'm going to preview this form. And here I'm going to fill dummy details. So my first name will be new. Last name will be user. Email address will be new user 124 at the rate pablitudes.com. Now I am going to use a random mobile number. So this will be the random mobile number and I'm going to click on subscribe. So my form is submitted. Let's go back to Fluent CRM. I will go to contacts. And here we can see we have added this new contact here, which is new user and the email address is new user 124 at the rate pablitudes.com. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here we have this response. So the last name is user and the first name is new and the full name is new user. And this is the email address, which is new user 124 at the rate pablitudes.com. And this is the random phone number. Now what we want is we want to send a WhatsApp message to this particular user. For this, we will set up our action and for action, I will open this. I will select my action application, which is Varti. I will click here. Now I have to give an action event. So I will open this and send template message will be my action event. I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting Varti with Pabli Connect, I need to give API endpoint and access token. For this, I will go to Varti. Here, I have to go to API docs. And this is my access token and API endpoint. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to Pabli Connect. I will paste that API endpoint here. Now I will go back to Varti. Now I will copy this access token and I will go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it here. I will click on save. So my connection is successful. Now I have these details here. So first I will map the WhatsApp number where I want to save my WhatsApp message to. So for this, I'm going to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous step and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I will open this response. And this is my mobile number, which I want to use. So I'm going to click here. Now I have to select the template for this. Let's go back to Varti. I will go to templates. And here we are going to use this template, which is new message. I will open this. So my template name is new message. Category is marketing language is English. And this is the body of my template, which is hello name, which will be a variable that can be changed according to our user. And thank you for connecting with us team Pabli. So this is the body of my message. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. I will select my template, which is new message. Now I have to give a broadcast name for this. Let's go to RT. And here in the broadcast title, we have none. So I will go back to Pabli Connect. I will type none here and I have to give custom params here. So this is the most important step for me. So I want to avoid mistakes here. So for the custom params, I need to follow this format. So I will simply copy this and I will paste it here. And in this, I have to give my variable name and the value of my variable. So for that, my variable is name. So I'm in the name section, I'm going to type name here. And in the value, I will give the value of my name, which is going to change. So I'm going to map it here. I will clear this. I will open this response and this full name will be my variable. So I'm going to click here. So this is my variable and this is the value of my variable. And to add other custom params, you just simply have to give a comma and you have to follow this format again. Now I will click on save and send test request button. And here we have this contact ID. So this means that we have sent it a message on our WhatsApp. Now to check this, let's open WhatsApp. And here we can see we have received this new message. Let's open this. So this is the new message which says, hello new user. Thank you for connecting with us team Pabli. So this is the message that we had on our template and we have sent this message to the user that we have added in our Fluent CRM contact. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. 
So our workflow here is working successfully and we have created this integration between Fluent CRM and Varti. So what happening is that whenever we are adding a new contact in our Fluent CRM through a form or anything, then we are sending a message automatically on WhatsApp to that contact using Varti. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Fluent CRM and my trigger event was new entries. Then we have set up our action and our action application was Varti and our action event was send template message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.